Record warmth continues east of the Mississippi River Valley right through the end of the week. We're going to have some uh, snow and ice concerns still unfolding yet over the next couple of days and some heavy rain and uh, major flooding actually occurring along rivers, streams, and creeks as uh, this week could still feature anywhere from four to near seven inches of rain. Now, today there's a general thunderstorm threat here across the central U.S. from Texas all the way to the Great Lakes region. And again, you can see this corridor of rain really starting to uh, kind of shift east now, but very slowly shifting off to the east. On the back edge of that, some snow and ice, and unfortunately, that is going to have some big impacts on traveling within these areas. We may have even some snow and ice concerns down into uh, portions of uh, Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, but again, as you head farther east, we're looking at some very heavy rainfall. So this is a look just through 7 p.m. Thursday and maybe upwards of 3 to 5 inches. Now, taking us through the weekend, we could be adding additional rainfall on top of that, especially through the Ohio Valley, but again, gearing up for some widespread heavy rain from the Arklatex region all the way to the Great Lakes with your heaviest near the Arklatex of almost seven plus inches. So again, excessive rainfall today within that particular corridor and your excessive rainfall on Wednesday in some of those same areas. Now, as you head farther north, it's ice. That's ice on a MnDOT road cam uh, in Cannon Falls, Minnesota. We also had some uh, snow developing in uh, Minnesota there as well. Winter weather advisories, winter storm warning and ice storm warnings taking us through the uh, day today still. But as you can see here, icing upwards of maybe a quarter to a half an inch and in some of the heaviest amounts. And then the snow starts to taper a little bit here on the far northwestern edge of that, but still enough to shovel and plow in many areas. So again, watching this narrow corridor of heavy rain, temperatures out ahead of that very warm. In fact, record highs uh, all the way to the Great Lakes today with some 70s and 80s. And we're getting continued record highs yet through the end of the week.